thing about the Cybertruck is that it has full self-driving and you actually don't have to put your hands on the steering wheel. Use this camera up here to see if you're actually paying attention or not. So you can drive on full self-driving end-to-end without putting your hands on the steering wheel, without putting any input. And it's pretty neat actually with the latest version using AI. It used AI in, in the initial release, but this is really refined. It's very smooth. You now can control it only by three options. So um, you have, let's see here, autopilot. You have chill, standard, and hurry. So chill usually put you on the furthest to the right lane or the lane next to it, the adjacent lane, uh, which we also call it interchangeably uh, the slow lane. And you have standard, which will put you in the middle lane, but not in the, the fast lane or the passing lane. So right now it's, it's detecting that I'm actually not paying attention. I'm looking to the left. It does detect when you have your phone in front of your face. Um, what I noticed that this camera can see through your sunglasses as well. So I'm not sure how they did that, but it's able to see through your sunglasses. And hurry is gonna put you mostly in the fast lane or lane one, you call it. So that's the passing lane furthest to the left. And then you have your max speed offset. Uh, they recommend 40%, but I lower it down to 30%. And then speed limit, you can have it preset to, I usually do 10 miles above the speed limit, uh, which is uh, normally what people would cruise at. Um, on the slower lane, on, on the furthest right lane here, where people merge, uh, usually people drive around 55 to 65 miles per hour. Um, this is a highway. So it's not a freeway. I believe the speed limit here is 65. Yeah, 65. Also show up on uh, the display here. And just so you can see the visualization is very good. You can have it full screen as well. Just swipe it um, to the right. Not sure why the windshield wiper went on. Um, but it does that sometimes, not just the Cybertruck, but all Tesla. And then it's, I'm not sure why it sits like that horizontally while you're cruising, because I'm sure that's not aerodynamic at all. And then it goes back into place when it detects there's no more rain. Well, there's no rain right now, it's full sunlight. So yeah, so that's how life is like with the Cybertruck, with full self-driving. So all the Foundation Series comes with full self-driving as a package. Uh, the non-Foundation Series does not come with full self-driving. That's a extra 8K. I'm sure Tesla will increase that as the full self-driving improves. It went up all the way to 12,000 at one point. So it fluctuated between 7,500 at one point, um, all the way up to 12,000. So I think the soft spot is really around eight. Um, you can subscribe it to it as well, but you can see attention monitoring um, devices is activated, which is this camera up here. So it changed lane automatically as well as you approach a interchange that you need to get on. Um, it does exit too and take you door to door, um, so end to end. So you don't have to start full self driving when you're on the highway. It actually can be started the moment you put it in drive from, not from your driveway, but yeah, maybe from your driveway if you're parked um, back in first. So it just changed lane on its own there. It's on chill mode right now, so it always will try to move first to the right when it makes sense so traffic is starting to pile up in front of me so you can see there very smooth especially in chill mode I think the standard mode is uh, probably the best option because chill when it changed lane it's just 
slowly go over and uh, again it's detecting that I'm holding the, the camera that's why it's uh, it thinks that I'm holding a phone I'm not so it does detect whether you're looking straight forward or constantly on this display it will alert you as well so if you're like tinkering with the display and the menu it will uh, flash as well and if you ignore it there's no way to um, turn off a fla flash of blue light or red even if you jiggle the steering wheel um, or touch the square wheel it will just lock you out for that duration of drive and I think you have five warnings before it completely locks you out and you have to wait um, I believe like two weeks or 30 days or something crazy like that um, but to reactivate it re-engage it you actually have to park the car get out and come back in and then you'll be able to use full self-driving again so that's how it works if you ever get locked out while you're driving and let's say full self-driving is no longer available for the current drive then you have to pull over somewhere and really uh, get out of the car and lock it I mean you can kind of stand up from your seat and then uh, lock the car and then unlock it open the door and close it so you don't have to get out that's also another option but pretty neat um, while you drive you can actually turn on other cameras um, when you're on FSD so you can see what's re uh, behind you in the Cybertruck you can see the forward facing camera as well it's very clear it's the clearest camera Tesla ever put on their vehicle clearer than the X and the S so very neat and then back to full screen very easy and there's no delay when you're using the screen even in the older models there's no dis d delay at all and with the recent uh, Tesla vehicle, it's very quick. Uh, I think the Cybertruck is, the user interface is the fastest. Uh, second to that is the S and the X. And then the three and the Y. The Y is actually now the slowest. So if you're on the market for a Tesla, I would recommend getting a three Highland because it's the refresh. And then if you want like an SUV, I would hold out on the X and the S for now unless you really want free element supercharging then the S has that going for it um, but they did increase the price when they offered that promotion so it's detecting vehicles slowing down um, see there they also detect brake lights signal lights and sometimes it shows on the animation not always but I noticed that even in chill mode, it does tend to tailgate a little bit closer. I wouldn't say tailgate, tailgate, but it does follow the vehicle in front of it really close. So hopefully you find this video helpful. If you're on the market for a Tesla, definitely use a referral code for additional up to 2000 and 7500 tax credit and then some promotional inventory credit as well. So check out link in the description of this video. I'll also pin it in the comments. So it did that in the change by itself with all that traffic, no issue. Catch y'all next time.